Uh, okay, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. You guys, along with myself, have been playing GTA 5 way too quickly. So quickly that we've actually missed something incredible. We've missed something incredible in this game. And this was just recently discovered by somebody called Newmaker who posted all of this. And let me tell you guys, it's interesting. It is very interesting. And what has just been discovered, I feel like has already been discovered like uh, six years too late. But as well as this, I would say a good five years too late considering the first half of this easter egg was discovered then. This part, the significant part, has just been discovered. And it's only just been discovered because uh, this person took his time throughout campaign and looked at all of the tiny details which don't seem to happen at any other point of the game, which is very, very interesting. So let's just get this started. And to start things off, you're going to want to play the mission Friend Request. Ah, there's my vehicle. Brilliant. Whew, you guys are going to be amazed. I, I promise you guys right now, you're going to be like, <laughs> you're going to be using this all day trying to find out. <laughs> You're going to be going around GTA 5 all day doing this. Oh, and by the way, since it's a mystery, since we're doing a mystery Easter egg kind of video, let's try and get 5,000 likes on this episode, guys. I don't really do goals, but when I do, you guys just smash them straight away. So let's try and get 5,000 likes. And if you guys have not yet subscribed, please do so. Press the notification button just below the subscribe button as well so you guys won't miss out on more videos like this. Right, so before we go any further, guys, pay attention to my phone, okay? We have two bars on the signal on my phone. And that will go up to three bars, two bars, maybe even one bar of signal if we're unlucky or something. Now, this is totally dynamic. No matter what you're doing in the game, your signal will change, whether you're inside a tunnel or if you're just out on the streets. And um, now we're going to go and visit Lester, guys. And just pay attention to this. Okay, pay attention to this. And if you know what we're going to talk about, then let me know in the comments below, guys, and we'll see if you're correct. But let's just go inside Lester's house. What's up, my man? Good to see you. Who would have thought that this mission is going to contain some secret things, guys, which rocks Star games have kept in here for so long. Et voila, the suburban store. Now we gotta get ourselves the outfit. Bearing in mind, pay attention to your phone, guys. Uh, yeah, we'll just go for this yellow top thingy, my Bobby. How about the trousers as well? We'll just go for the first one it gives me, guys. Yeah, okay, we got the classic. We got the classic, guys. Thanks, man. Now, bearing in mind, take a look at your phone. We have three bars. Brilliant, guys. Three bars on the signal. All right, so now we're phoning Lester and we're at the Life Invader building, guys. Now, this is where the Easter egg kind of develops. This is where things begin. Okay, now we're actually doing the mission. This is where things begin. You're probably starting to catch on about what's going to happen, guys, but it's more than what you're thinking. Honestly, it is more than what you're thinking. Okay, so now we saved Ricky's computer, and now we have to go into the back room to rig the mobile phone. So you want to solve the computer. You want to go in the back room. You want to get the prototype, and you're going to want to rig this up. So just do this, Michael. Carry on. Yep, sneaky, sneaky. Just uh, get this moving, man. Get this moving. So now we just have to go back home. Home, and we get this started. Guys, I'm having doubts. I'm having doubts already. I haven't done this yet. I've just seen everyone say like loads and loads of crazy things about this. Like, yes, this works. Yes, I've done this. This is so weird. Everyone who's seen this post has said it's worked for them, guys. And I I'm just, I'm in disbelief. I, I, I have so much doubts. I I'm just thinking to myself, we're, re we're recording now. You know, we're filming the entire thing. It probably won't work, but somehow it does. Somehow it does, guys. So let's go over to the sofa. We have two bars on the phone, and we're going to want to just carry on with this scene. Just carry things on. Tracy, get out of the way. We're doing an Easter egg. We're doing a mystery. Get out of the way, Tracy. Out the way. <laughs> get, me, get me my tinfoil hat whilst you're at it. Now we have to switch over to Jay Norris. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Jay Norris, Life Invader, founder, and CEO. Now pay attention to your phone, guys. Pay attention to your phone. I don't think I can bring it up yet. So you're going to want to do this. Take out Jay Norris, all of those things, and then we can get started, guys, on the Easter egg. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to wait for Jay Norris to pull out the prototype phone. <gasps> there we go. There we go. We've done it, guys. We've done it. So at this point where it says signal lost and everything else like that at this point has it worked? Come on, please tell me this has worked. This is gonna be such a fail if it hasn't. I'm gonna have to show the gameplay and how this guy did it. Oh, it worked. Yo, wait, hang on. Hang on. Yo, look at the phone. Okay, wait, hang on. First up, guys, you need to go on to... How do we do this? Um, Profile, sleep, sleep mode. No, no, put me in sleep mode. Come on. <laughs> I don't care about these things. You need to do this quickly, guys. You need to do this quickly. So go into sleep mode. There we go. So now we're in sleep mode. While in sleep mode, the sleep symbol will be displayed near the radar. Now, this means nobody is going to be able to phone me, guys. Now, for as long as nobody phones you, your signal is going to be completely out completely out, guys. 100%. And the only place the signal will go up is a certain area where he is actually marked out himself. New maker. No, Lester. Why am I phoning Lester? I don't... <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright, get this call over with. There we go. So somehow we're phoning Lester. Yeah, this is really strange. Somehow we're phoning Lester with no signal, guys. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. It is so weird. So we just phoned up Lester. We still have no signal. Sleep mode is active. The game story is paused. To continue it, go into settings menu, select profile, then normal mode, or trigger an existing mission. So this means we pause story mode, guys. It's a really good feature if you are trying to do easter eggs or mysteries, because I believe if somebody phones you other than Lester just then, your signal will go back up to normal. So we need to make sure we are in sleep mode. So if you guys are trying to use this easter egg and do this mystery, then make sure you guys are in sleep mode. So now we're going to go over to the Life Invader building, and again, you will see we have no signal. Um, I believe this might be the radius in which you have no signal. Let's drive outside of Los Santos and see if we get no signal around like the outskirts of Los Santos, or even Sandy Shores. Oh yeah, here we go. We've now got signal again. So now we've just driven away from the Life Invader building. We now get signal. So let's drive back. And I believe by driving back, our signal should either go back down to zero or the signal will stay permanently. Oh no, back down to zero. Like what is going on with the Life Invader building? What is going on? What is, what is going on over there, dude? This is so weird. It, it doesn't make sense. This is so weird. But what I love about this is that it actually makes sense. You know, he, he circled out the entire area in which he mapped out a rough radius for this. And it literally lines up the Life Invader building being right in the middle, guys. So after this mission, something happens inside the Life Invader building, which ruins your phone signal. It just, it demolishes it. What are Rockstar Games trying to tell us? It has to do with the Life Invader building, guys. I'm going to drive away from the Life Invader building and show you again from another perspective. Let's go down this highway, guys. Let's go down this highway. Now, some people have actually kept this going. The person who found this new maker, he actually kept this no signal thing going. Oh, we've got signal again, so let's go back down this way. He kept this going for the next few missions going on throughout campaign. As long as you don't get taken out, guys, you will keep no phone signal. How far can we go this way? This is crazy. <laughs> this is actually crazy. How far can we go? <laughs> can we just... Oh, here we go. Okay, over here, guys. Over here. So it goes over there, around Michael's house. I think that's where the Life Invader building is, so it goes about down there. I mean, that's a really weird radius, guys. I don't understand why. I actually don't understand why. Um, I'm gonna take a look at his map and see what he drew and see if there's like a middle to this radius because it's not the Life Invader building. I thought it was. Ah, uh, here we go. The middle to this radius is, um, I think it's this thing. Is that a subway station? I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I am literally just trial and erroring right now, guys. I'm just trying to figure out exactly what this is. Yeah, it's over here, guys. I've just done some trial and error, and this is the center, and it's exactly where the subway station is. So whatever this is to do with, it's coming from the subway station. Rockstar Games want us to go down here. Okay, okay, guys, okay. Right, this might sound far-fetched, but... Let me, let me tell you guys, okay? Let me tell you guys what I think. Now, this is another theory going around the community. And if you guys remember, a few years ago, there was a brand new phone number discovered, which served no purpose other than to confuse everything out of you guys. Like, just to basically make you confused. Now, this is the phone number. You just have to type in this. This might actually do something. Now we're over here. <laughs> this might do something, guys. Uh, you just have to type in this number. It will say black cell phones. You get an explosion above your head, and you get given a brand new phone. Now, the whole idea of this is black cell phone it is basically, if you Google this, it's an untracked phone, an untrackable phone, which nobody's able to track. So let's go into the theories, guys. Let's explain what people are beginning to think. Uh, so, of course, black cell phones, uh, for some reason, this is right in the center. Is this meant to be the black cell phone? Like a hint saying, use the black cell phone cheat, change up your phone? I don't know, guys. But if we think about it, okay, this is the end of Michael's family life. There's another mission after this, which we're able to do, but you can do friend requests right Right at the end of Michael's family life, where all the missions uh, before that only contain Michael and his family. After that, we then begin to do the jewel store heist. We then begin to meet the FIB. So what people are believing is that the no signal is meant to be a sign that the FIB are tracking you right after this mission. And then that's when Dave finds you eventually because he finds on the news a quote which Michael once said when they knew each other years and years ago. But it's just kind of a coincidence that the FIB all of a sudden just show back up in Michael's life a few missions later, which, in my opinion, could be tracked to this. I have a feeling something happens down here. At this point in campaign, something has to happen. There is no other reason why we would have no signal on our phone. I mean, it's coming from here. What is what is it doing to our phone? <laughs> Are we going to find, like, the FIB around here just, like, tracking something on a computer? So, yeah, there's a few things this could be, guys. I've taken a look in the post. Loads of people are sharing loads and loads of ideas. If you want to read the post, I will link that in the description below. But again, the idea which I think this is, is the the FIB are watching us. If you really try your best not to get taken out, then you 
will keep this no signal until you eventually do meet the FIB. So what I'm thinking is that the FIB have to be tracking you. It just makes sense. You have literally just taken out Jay Norris by rigging a prototype. That's pretty big news, guys. He is, well, I think he's the founder of Life and Data. He's the CEO and founder of Life and Data. So it's pretty big news. So it really wouldn't surprise me that somebody is tracking your phone after this. So if you guys want to work this out and want to do this yourself or just follow another mystery in GTA 5, this is the one to follow, guys. All of us have been playing GTA 5 story way too quickly. We missed this and I want to know what the answer is. So I'm going to be searching this myself. I'm sure some of you guys will be as well. If I find any more information about this, I will let you know. And if you do find anything else, any other answers, any other clues, anything else like that, then I will come back with another video. So make sure you guys do subscribe for that. But either way, guys, thanks for watching. My name is Nord and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much to these amazing people for becoming a member of the channel. If you guys would like to have your name randomly selected and featured at the end of every video, just like these amazing people, then press the join button just below this video and become a member of the channel today. And feel free to watch another video. There's two on the screen right now. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.